All right, we're back. New objectives, new stuff to do. So um, looking through these, logistics is going to be very important, uh, but not as important as I might think. Foundation's going to be vital. So foundation and obstacle clearing are the two that I really want to focus on. So copper sheet as well. A lot of good stuff here. Let's do this one first, though. Base building, so I can start uh, building some floors and making things look a little bit nicer. So I'm going to continue. It's a lot of concrete, actually. Throw that in here. I need another biofuel generator. Yeah, let's do that. Or my bio, biomass burner. I'm going to create a nice organized system for this eventually. Right now, I'm not that worried about it. Here. Wait, I don't think there's anything on top of here. There we go. Yeah, just another thing to grab when I come up here. Grab these copper wires out of here. Not full yet. Nice. Actually, this... Sorry. Conveyor logistics stuff is vital. I don't know what I'm talking about. Doing my maintenance here. Now, the next thing I can do is craft some biomass. And this is a bit more efficient, a bit more effective than just leaves or just wood. Go 100, 100. Good thing is it crafts very quickly, even by hand, which is nice. Now I can throw some more in here.
And this will last me for actually not as long as I would hope. Minute. So it's 10 per minute. So, oh, 10 minutes. Yeah, that's not bad. So now, oh, now I can start working on automating the other stuff. Let me grab um, stuff out of here. Make sure I have all the materials I need for everything. Then we're going to add our automation to this stuff. Let me craft some cables. I do have some wires. Let's get to about 50 cables. And then that should be plenty. There we go. Well, that's not 50. There we go. Okay. So now we'll get the automation going on the limestone here. run that right down here. I still want to throw in my own limestone every now and again because this production is faster. Faster than the limestone comes in, so. Grab some biomass here. And we'll run up to the other one and automate. Well, actually everything's automated now. Until I get the splitters. Oh, there's one more smelter I need to make. That's right. Or, sorry, one more miner because I had to take it out. I have it. Oh, yeah, okay. okay. We'll pick this one up. And then, miner mark one. Beautiful. Okay, now everything's automating how it should be. Um, we do have storage containers. So what I can do now, just so I don't have any concern about these filling up or anything, I can create storage containers for each of these. Once again, I'll organize this later. I'm not worried about organizing it now. Very cheap. Okay. And now we're in a position where I'm not concerned about micromanaging this stuff nearly as much. Beautiful. Okay, now whatever I collect is going to go towards the uh, next tier. Everything's kind of set up. 
The only other thing I could do... No, that won't work. I need to... For now... Oh, for now, I still need to just manually... Oh, I didn't want to pick up the miner. What am I doing? I need to manually craft cables and reinforce plating or whatever I need there. I just need to manually craft it until I get the splitter, until I get some more uh, biomass stuff set up. Perfect, I can add a hundred to each of these. Buy myself another ten minutes for each of them. Set it and forget it. I don't know why these didn't line up. It was lined up and then I built it and it wasn't lined up, so... No idea. go. So we got enough of some of the materials. We're going to be waiting on concrete a little bit here. Not that long though. It's up to 117. That's pretty good. Any other micromanaging things I need? Maybe I'll just collect some leaves. I want to check out up here. It looks like it's just limestone, unfortunately. It can be caterium, but it is not in this case, so... Just limestone. Boo! Yeah, sometimes you'll find these nice uh, randomized nodes along here. They're usually sort of on other rocks, so they'll be against a cliffside here, or like a little rock formation sticking out of the middle of whatever. I don't think there's any more here, though. Go back down. This is a nice broad area to, you know, kind of do stuff. So I might build some stuff up here as far as production, production things or storage or power. Maybe I'll put the biomass generators up here. Oh, that is iron, I think. Yeah, that's unfortunate. Quick loop around here. I don't know. I know auto saves on timing, but it scares me. It makes me feel like there's an event coming or something. There's a boss battle. That gamer instinct. 
Beautiful. Is there anything along here? Uh, nothing too interesting. I can fight this thing down here. Some more hog remains. I need a, quite a few animal remains for that research, so... Um, fight them early and often. See, there's another one. Good. Dogs are battling in the living room. Oh, 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 yes, let's go, Caterium. Unknown metal collected. This metallic element is showing properties similar to those in Group 11. I love the jump over on these guys. Such as high conductivity and malleability. Store this potential resource for later use. Whoops. He got lost. Whoops. Nice. That's a lot of hog remains as well. Very good. A lot of leaves. Things are going well here. Good, good, good. Another fight over here? No? So this is the closest normal limestone. I just don't know if it's close enough to really be worth running stuff all the way back to there when there's two impures so close by. Yeah, I don't know. I don't think it's worth it. It could be, actually, because, I mean, I'm going to be setting up some stuff later that's running way further than that, so. Maybe, 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 maybe. Yeah, storage container really takes some of the pressure off of you know, constantly running over and checking on this because you don't want it to get stuck when the constructor's full, so. Although I hadn't hit a stack of that yet. That's 500 a stack, so. Got a ways to go there. But we should be done now. Should be have plenty of everything. And the biomass burner should still be good. Hoping the biomass burners will last long enough that I don't actually need to... I, I can build my biomass farm before I need to worry about any anything else. Plates. Rods. Okay, this should be plenty of concrete. It actually looks like this is not having... Well, it is, yeah, a little bit of trouble keeping up. Um, the, the ore is, I should say. Here we go. Oh, dogs are battling in here now. Alright, so I want logistics next, and I'm... I have enough here, but I have to wait two minutes, so... Craft some biofuel while I wait. Actually, let's get some organization going here. Take this stuff out.
clean up the inventory. Nice. Oh my gosh, this battle. The battle is waging. They are really going at it, these dogs. Our dog, the little dog, she's only five months old, but she just will outlast the big dogs. She'll play until they're tired and then keep trying to play. And they'll try to let her know I'm done, trying to nip her and stuff, and she'll just think that's part of the playing. So I don't, I'm hoping she'll grow out of that. You know, she's. It's not good if a dog doesn't respond to corrections from other dogs, and I don't know how to train that into them to say, hey, you know, this means when a dog bites you, it means stop. Good amount of biomass. Gonna throw that in here. These should still be fine at this point. Oh, it's uh, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. There we go. Next round. Boom. So field research. The MAM is very important. Conveyor belts can now merge, split, and lift. But I'm going to do obstacle clearing first. Fixit encourages you to consider investing in verticality when it comes to factory logistics. If you feel stressed by this complexity, imagine yourself on the shore of a vast and calm ocean. You can stack storage containers. Interesting. I didn't even try to do that before. Just when they mentioned verticality, I was like, yeah, maybe I should be stacking these things. The only issue is, like, you want actually to be able to reach stuff, so... I don't know if that's better or not. Okay, we gotta craft some screws. The old fashioned way. What's going on here? Why? Oh, because, duh, I'm like, why isn't it there? Because it's here. That one copper vein is going to be enough to produce all three copper products I need, by the way. Um, even Mark 1, especially a Mark 2 miner. The main one, well, actually, you need all of them. Okay, so we've almost gone through half of the, that biofuel, so there is a bit of a ticking clock, but it shouldn't be too bad. 500. Okay. This is fun. Dance, everybody, dance. Um, I could be having my third vein doing this, actually, but this is okay. This is not always the worst thing in the world because, you know, you physically have to be doing something. I mean, I guess you could just sit around, but I'm not getting enough of that stuff, though. Oh, I'll just have enough. 33 seconds. Trying to race it. 
We're at 400. Oh my god, the iron rods were literally the perfect amount. That's crazy. Oh, uh, yeah, I don't need iron rods for this. Oh, I do need 100 cable, though. Oh, no. I'm not gonna make it. Yeah, it's gonna beat me just by, like, 30 seconds, though. Five, four, three, two, one. Still, this is, that was pretty good. That was pretty darn good. Pretty darn good for efficiency there. Oh, <laughs> gotta grab some concrete. Give me that concrete. There we go, awesome. Milestone reached. Solid biofuel created from any biomass ensures maximum efficiency of biomass. So I centers. want the to aid in biofuel production, chainsaw as well. Chainsaw allows for the removal of tougher wood and coral foliage. 160 screw. I wish that you could add this one to the to do, but it, I don't think you can. So re five reinforced iron plate is the big one, and 160 screw. The rest and 15 cable. Okay, so a bunch of secondary parts actually. To efficiency. This isn't just fun. It's contractually mandated. Fun, fun, fun. Contractually mandated. Fun, fun, fun. I like that. We need five iron plates. I'm going to check something here. Power, in terms of power, do I have... Okay, I can build more stuff. What am I doing? Aimed completely the wrong way because of that biomass thing that I just put there for some reason. Oh, smelter first. What am I doing? Okay. Definitely not going to be ready for this one. Well, I don't even care at this point because I got a lot of work to do. Okay, so I got the five iron plate. Now I need some just pure screws. Was it like a hundred screws? It's like a dollar an hour. Fifteen cable, hundred sixty screws, and some iron rods. Yuck. Yuck is all I can say.
All right, let's take some biomass out and we're just gonna handcraft some of the solid biofuel. Wow, that does take quite some time, doesn't it? I'm only gonna do about 20. That should be enough for the chainsaw. Just a few more screws. What am I doing? There we go. Okay, so we got the chainsaw. Now, the next thing I want to do is work on my biomass farm. I know that I'm going to need nine of these, which is going to be 135 iron rods. So while that's getting ready, I'm going to start building the foundation for it. Foundation is just concrete and iron plates, so I should be fine. Okay. This looks like a good spot out here. Let me get my chainsaw on. Clear out stuff as I go. Just do the high foundation. Is it high enough? Wow, it's not. Should have started over here. So let's start up here. That concrete's going to kill me, man. I need more concrete. How are these generators doing? I'm going to throw 100 more in each to buy myself another 10 minutes. It's not a big deal. I have plenty to start out my generator farm, so... No biggie. Get some more limestone over here. Um, I think I am going to set up the lime, the normal limestone node, because I would like to generate concrete a little bit better. So in the future, I'll do that. There we go. Now we're getting iron rods at a decent pace. Oh, we're actually there on the biomass burners except for wire. Let's go grab our wire and then be good to go.
Good. Let me add the splitters and stuff, I just realized. Uh, we need... For nine, we need... One merger and... Four splitter... Three splitters? Four splitters. There we go. Okay, so we do need some more cable. And some more wire. Holy cow. Okay. Grab my own out of here. I'll do my own wire crafting. Cable guy. Yeah, so I think I'm going to keep these episodes to around an hour each. So I won't hit the next milestone or anything, but, you know, I'm going to try to hit something interesting by the end of the video. Okay, do a little hand crafting of wires. Get some extra, because I also need wiring for the electricity part of it as well. I'll need concrete for that as well. <clears throat> about 50 cable maybe more for all the wiring eh, we'll see 50 should be okay all right concrete is gonna be the sticking point right now because of all these things um <clears throat> So I'm going to add this to my hotkey here, which is I'm going to add the foundation. And, you know, the four meter foundation costs the same amount. But if I press a number while I'm mousing over, it's now on the hot bar. Now I can just do this. And I'm using the zoop building mode for this. So I can just drag it across. And that should be enough to start building these biomass burners. So I'm going to aim it this direction-ish. Now if I hold control, I should just be able to place these so much easier. Look at that. Thank you for the tips in the comments. That's one of the best parts about being on YouTube is when you're doing something fundamentally wrong, people will let you know. Is that it? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Good. And then I'm going to put the uh, merger, sorry, the splitters. I want the red arrow facing back. I want this to kind of be as close as possible, like right about there. You can, I can put it one notch closer, but I don't like when it's like clipping in like that. So, or even there is too close. So I'll, I'll back it off a little bit. There we go. Run this here, run this here, run this here, same thing.
Okay. Now I'm trying to kind of think for the future. Because I might end up building like 27 of these, which I'll probably go backwards and build this direction, even over the water. But I only want to have one set of like where I put stuff in at. Let's see. Zoop, zoop, it, oop. More concrete. Um, fifty. Okay. Every reference you hear. No matter how obscure, if you figure it out, let me know. I'm 50. Uh, I'm going to need to create a little ramp here to get up, I believe. Because I would... Whoops. Oh, if you just want to build one, zoop mode is not good. There we go. And then let's build one ramp. Yeah, so I'm envisioning myself um, feeding from here, which means I should build my first... I should build a storage container here. Actually, I need three storage containers total. Do I have space for three? I think so, yeah, I should. I need more iron rods. Well, two for now is okay. Then I need a merger here. With this thing pointed off in this direction. Lined up here. Did I aim these the wrong way? I think I pointed them the wrong way. Yeah, I need the blue, the out end facing this way. Oh, it doesn't, it doesn't like that. It also might be good to have some room to walk behind, I just realized. Just a little bit like that much room should be fine. There we go. Alright, so our leaves and wood are going to go in here. And then these are going to be merged. No, not merge, sorry. These are going to need to be produced into con into co a constructor. So I need two constructors. All right. Forgot to add the constructors. I actually need three constructors. So let's go ahead and add that to our to-do. Keep forgetting to check the where it's actually supposed to be.
wires out of here. Now we got full stacks going. Let's go. Six reinforced plates and it should be good. Maybe a few more cables. A few more cables, I said. It's plenty. All right, we are close. Hopefully I left enough room that the constructors are not gonna cause issues here with connecting everything. I think I'll be okay. I can build the third storage can well we'll need three constructors you know what i have to build another row here i just realized if i want to have the third tier whoops five zoop come on So I'll have three constructors here, but I'm not going to build the third one just yet. Yeah, actually, I'm going to leave the space for it, though. So I'm going to start here. I think that should be good. So I'll put the wood on the right, and I'll put the uh, leaves on the left. Just alphabetical order, leaves then wood. Okay, now we need a merger. Another merger I didn't account for. Get it close to the mouth of this one. Feeds into here. Whoops. Feeds into here. Now this one is going to be making... Oh, yeah, that's okay. The, the next one, I should say. So we're going to have one more conveyor belt here. Sorry, one more... Uh, not conveyor belt. I'm going to put it kind of up here, actually. Well, I feel like it should be okay. Yeah, it should be fine here. The issue is with... I have to run... Let's try running our cables first. Yeah, so this is a little bit tight, but it says it's clipping, but I don't really see clipping, so I'm okay with that. out of here I don't know what to call that creature yet let's go about here and now I think everything should be fine 
So one more splitter. Let's see. Maybe I just put the splitter right here. Point it that way. Or maybe back here, actually. In front of this one. That should be cool. And then this one. Not sure. It looks okay. Okay, that looks great. Now we build our last constructor. Like this. And then wrap it around. That's beautiful. Man, it looks so tidy now. It looks so tidy. I love the way this looks. All right, so this is going to be solid biofuel. All right, let's run some power up. I think I might run out of power here. Uh, where do I want this power line to go? Maybe right in the middle here and then over to here. And then I'll run one up to here. Okay. What I'm hoping is this is not going to shut down my power grid. Maybe I feed a little bit of biofuel into the first three just to get them started. Yeah, let's do that. So I'm going to put one, two, or actually no, maybe not even this kind. Let's use our solid biomass. Like that. We'll go nine... Five and five. There we go. All right, now we just throw, well, I'm just going to throw the biomass directly into this one. So I actually don't have a ton of leaves. While that's going, I'll keep running wires here. I think everything's wired up now. And here comes the solid biofuel. Beautiful. And it's just going to divide out into nine, and I think everything is just going to turn on, and we'll all be happy. Okay, so we'll say uh, we put the wood here, and then the leaves here. Whoops, didn't mean to jump down like that. And I'll need one more conveyor belt and stuff later. Sorry, one more storage container, one more constructor. Then we'll be good. Let's clear some trees out. Oh, I ran out of biofuel. Whoops. Let's grab a little more. 
throw more of this into here. I'm just going to grab a few off the conveyor belts. No big deal. The middle ones are set now, and these ones are about to... Oh, well, if I actually ran <laughs> conveyor belt there, it would be. Sort of clearing this area up a bit. It's like a double excuse. You know, I want this area cleared, but I also want to, you know, get some biofuel going. So I think I'm going to expand it to 27 eventually, and I'm hoping that the 27 can hold me over until I get to oil power. I'm going to try not to overly, uh, I guess, overly machine. I don't know. Well, I might have to, though. What am I talking about? I might need even more than 27. It might get silly. I don't know. We'll see. All right, they're all on now, and I want to disable the other ones because I don't need them anymore. Let's put a little personal storage box up here so I can... Oh, I don't have that yet, actually. Okay, well, never mind. Okay, so the next research I want to do is for the research thing. The ma'am. Ma'am! So I'm going to do the field research one next. And... Close, just craft some screws and I'll be good. I probably need to start manufacturing screws at some point. But that's a problem for future Dan. And once I do this next research, and I think I build the MAM, I think that'll be it. And then the next one will be pretty focused on, I don't know. There's a lot to focus on, actually. I think, I think I'll have to get my iron at least going correctly. I might have to move the this thing, the hub, because I want an a more area here to machine everything. Um, yeah, I got a lot of work to do. Awesome. Milestone reached. Supply the molecular analysis machine. Refer and then the construct assembler is going to be actually huge too. So. Definitely need to set up screws here. Let's go ahead and do that now. Oh, reinforced plate. I know I need that. Construct, Need to automate making screws because getting tired of this. So another constructor. Oh, wait, what? I didn't build two modular plate? Whoa. 
Work on console stuff. Okay. And cable. Okay, shouldn't have any issues with taking all this stuff out now that I have nine biomass things going. This one's plugged up because I didn't clear out the iron rods. Terrible. Yeah, I'm going to rebuild this whole area next time. Get rid of this biomass one as well. Let's look where we're at. Now that we've gotten rid of all the other biomass except for that. We have a capacity of 270 and we're at 73. So we, we are going to still run out eventually, you know. Just name of the game. Did I really construct a smelter instead of a... I'm sure somebody was yelling at me like, What the heck are you doing, dude? Screws are coming through. Rods, plates, and then cables. We're at 103 right now. So, one hour, three minutes, I should say. Sometimes I say stuff like that and then I go... You know, I don't think that actually makes sense, like, with the context I was building in my head. So. Oh boy. 200 cables, holy cow. Let me go run up here. And we'll uh, throw some more just pure biomass into this thing. There we go. Sort our inventory. And these should be going up, up, up very quickly. Should even go up, up, up with 27 from the same constructor. I don't think I need a second constructor speeding things up but anyway let's hit our save we'll say three uh biomass gen farm and that's where we're at okay i'll catch you guys in the next perfect playthrough